Okay, we are back home. Jessie's in here playing the video game. I want to show you guys a bunch of stuff I got at the thrift store. I meant to record there, but I got super excited when we were in there because I had a bunch of Halloween stuff. So I'm going to show you because I bought it all. Um, and then I'm going to be in there cutting material to start making some bags for the shop. Open that curtain so that there would be some light. So I'm going to turn you around so that you can see the stuff that I bought. <laughs> I bought this at Sam's Club and it's uh, 25 for eight dollars so that's a good deal and then at the thrift store I got this uh, material this is a yard I thought this would be good for liners it's brown and two different shades of brown this is a yard this is a yard but some of it's missing but that's fine there's enough to line at least one bag and some notion pouches and it's Christmassy this is over a yard, but some of it's missing. But again, I can make some bags and then line stuff. And then this is a yard of Halloween material. And all of them were $2 except this one. This It's more like half a yard, a little over a half a yard. And then Halloween stuff that I got there. Oof, it's heavy. I got this little witch. It's like a candle holder. It's super cute. I don't know where it's from. It was three dollars. <laughs> it doesn't say where it's from. And then I got this little thing. It's supposed to light up, but it's broken. But I just like the picture. It's another witch. <laughs> it's got like a battery thing there, but it's broken. But it's still really cute. And then I got this ghost thing. Another candle thing. It's just like a ceramic thing. And then this, this is one of me the old toys my, my granny used to have. She had Christmas ones. But it's a um, vampire and also a witch. The lighting is really bad. You can't see it. Come over here so you can see it better. It's just a witch with a broom. Super cute. She's got like a flat butt so you can set her on something. Love that. And then my favorite thrift store find was only... Well, one of my favorites, this one, Ta -da! is, it was only, uh, $4, I think, and it's a scarecrow, it's like a scarecrow face, but she's a witch, and she's got a spider web, and a broom, and on this hand, she's holding a pumpkin, and there's also, like, a black cat hanging down. Yeah, she's got silly. a bell. She's super cute to sit somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet. Then also at Sam's Club, I got Jesse some toys. Ta -da! Yeah. They had a that set back there on clearance for $7. And it came with some tool toys and two little craft things that we'll have to do sometime, some other time. And that's the stuff we got. And then the zippers that I got in the mail are right here. These are the ones. I can remember I'll link them below. What is that noise? These are the zippers. They're, I think they're 9 inches. I usually use 7 inch ones, but these ones are 9 inches, so it's okay. I can just cut it when I'm getting ready to sew it. But uh, they feel just like the ones I always buy. So. <laughs> the last thing I got thrift store was this cape. I probably just put a clip in unless I didn't like the way it looked. But it's a homemade cape. Someone made it. Let me stop this for a second and switch hands. It's a homemade cape. It's made out of, about, out of four yards of material. The outside is like black with gold stars. The inside is just black. And whoever made it put a a wand holder in it. And I just happen to have a wand right here. Harry Potter fans will know that this is Lord Voldemort's yarn. <laughs> yarn. <laughs> wand. I don't know why I said yarn. But um, I'm, I just happened to be a witch this year for Halloween. I already got my costume. And I gotta put my wand back up because I have it in its case. <laughs> but uh, I was so excited about this cape when I first Why found it. Because I like it. Um, I was excited because it's a cape and I thought it would go good with my costume. But then I was even more excited when I found out it had a wand space on it. Yeah, you do. But so now I have a cape to go with. I gotta move it a little bit. It's dark. A cape to go with my costume, which is in here. It's just like a Walmart witch costume. I didn't want to make one this year. Ugh, sorry, bad angles. But it's just a purple and black witch costume. My hat's back there. I got it 
up so that it will have its shape following. <laughs> but yeah, and I got some gloves to wear with it. But I'm going to be the one driving this year because Devin has to work. So I don't know if I can wear gloves. And it's kind of like this cape. I won't. Hold on a second. I don't know if I'll get to wear this the whole night because I'll be the one driving. But I can wear it some of the night. When we're out walking around at like trunk or treats, I will put it on. But I'm excited. And now I need some shoes. Dryer's going. Hashtag real life. Obviously, this is a vlog, so it's real life. I just got done cutting up some random fabrics that I've accumulated and bought. And these are ones I still need to make uh, liners and drawstring casings and stuff like that for. And over here, these are notion pouches that are already. I just now got to get the interfacing cut. These are project bags that are already. I just got to sew them and drawstring casings. And there's my mess. <laughs> let me let me come over here. Um, cause I haven't showed you guys the craft area since I moved it around a little bit. So, like right here is the kitchen, walking into the dining room. <laughs> but, um, so I moved some random yarn here with all my whips. <laughs> I got quite a few whips. <laughs> and then over here, I, this is one of my craft work tables that I just kind of set here to have more space. So, that's cardboard I'm going to be cutting up. That's some amigurumis my sister gave me back that I gave her. She didn't have nowhere to put them. Those are the bags that's in the shop, and this is, right there is where I sit all the time. So this is like my whips that are easy access through that hole. Uh, this is just clutter. <laughs> my new zippers, my bags, cardboard thing I'm trying to build, those I bought today. And then my tripod, because from now I'm going to be filming that direction with the light in the background. This is my sewing table. I wanted to have a place to permanently put my sewing machine where I ha wouldn't have to keep getting it up and down from up there. So I keep my cutting board here and all my sewing notions. And down here is long-term whips and cotton yarn. This is a big stack of <laughs> fabric. There's a bunch of Christmas fabric over there that will be going to the shop soon and some random fabrics. My garbage can is flowing. <laughs> Yeah, it's cluttered now. It looked nice yesterday when I first did it, but I'm using it now, so of course it's gonna be junky. <laughs> but um, these are all the zippers I had before I ordered these ones, so I got these out ready to pick uh, zippers for the Notion pouches. But I'm gonna try to get all this cut, all this stuff cut. I gotta dig through my fabric stash to find colors that would be good for liners for these bags and uh, get them all cut and then the what's it called interfacing cut and all that before monday because monday is when i want to start my work week of the bags i don't really count the cutting part process because it's kind of therapeutic to me but uh i, I count it as the work week when i start sewing <laughs> but i gotta try to get all this done over the weekend so i can start sewing monday morning I hope you could hear that because the dryer is going, but I got to do laundry. I've got chicken thawing out for dinner tonight. I always, always, always ask Devin what he would like to have for dinner. And he's always like, oh, anything doesn't matter to me, whatever you want to cook. But, um, and which annoys me because I want him to put some input in so I know what to make. Because I know some things he likes and some things he doesn't like. But a lot of the things he doesn't like are things that I like. <laughs> but um, he said the other day that he can't wait till I make um, Parmesan chicken again with spaghetti. So I'm gonna be making that tonight because he finally said something that he wants me to make. So I'm gonna make Parmesan crusted chicken in the oven and some spaghetti on the stove. And that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Jesse likes spaghetti, so that's good. He probably won't eat the chicken because he's a little picky about the types of chicken he eats. He he likes shredded chicken, like uh, barbecue chicken, kind of shredded up, you know, and nuggets. <laughs> and he'll eat homemade nuggets. Like if I take a breast and cut it up and then, um, bread it and all that he'll eat those but he won't eat like actual big piece of chicken yet but he will eventually i'm not worried about it as long as he eats i'm okay so yeah he's watching spongebob now i'm about to hop off from uh cutting for a little while because my arms are getting sore hold on i'll fix it in a minute and i think it's loading. i can't tell um go crochet for a little while and wait for that load of laundry to get dry i gotta put it up and then See what else I'm doing the rest of the day. Okay, it took me forever, but I finally got all the bags lined and zippers picked out, drawstring casings ready. So now all I have to do is cut the interfacing and I can start the process of making bags after that. Woo! I'm so excited that I ordered those zippers. I'm gonna try to order a set every now and then just randomly so I always have a ton on hand. And they're pretty cheap too, so I'm excited about that. 
The whole time I've been in there cutting, I've been watching YouTube videos on my laptop. You got your work belt on? Yeah, but... He's looking for his tools, and I may have put them on top of the refrigerator. I just love how Halloween-y my house is looking. I'm going to show you guys. Start with the door. Okay, there's the front door. And behind the door, we have a skeleton. And now beside the door, we have that new witch I bought. Don't be slinging that around, honey. You're going to hit me. <laughs> Jesse's little wreath that he made at story time. Gosh, two Halloween's ago. Oh my god. That's oh, yeah, that's that. me. <laughs> and then my new awesome witch. Let me move this package. I don't want you to see that address. Oh, I just love this witch so much. Yeah, so cute. I got me some more flowers. They only had one uh, bunch of sunflowers, so it's a little funny looking because it's kind of empty, but it's the old. Mama, Over here by the TV, we have this. Water. It's oh. in there. And then on the TV, we have pumpkins. This is a Heidi Yates pattern. It's for a um, solar light, I think. I can't remember now. But it's got a mason jar in it with my old Halloween flowers in it. This is from Dollar Tree. It's a bird skeleton. Then we got Halloween lights. I don't see the bird skeleton. It's on the TV right there. Over here, it's really dark. I brightened it up when I edited it. <laughs> but this this box and this box, they're like treat boxes from Dollar Tree. The skeleton arms are from Dollar Tree. These, let me turn those off. This one's on okay. There. These pumpkin, these glass pumpkin things are from Dollar Tree, and so are the lights that's in them. And then I got them too today. I showed you guys those. I love those. I'm actually, I don't burn those or turn them on. I'm saving those for Halloween. I plan on putting those in the car today on Halloween. And then the back mantle has all my Halloween amigurumis and some lights. And my new flowers I made. The roses with skeletons and purple squiggly things. And those are Dollar Tree bows. Yeah. And then I have my crochet ghost garland. Over here. Hold on a second. And then on this lamp, we have a random spider and then this sign. <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't figure out where to put it, so I just stuck it on there. It's actually turned. I gotta fix it. That new little vampire. My Halloween blankets are on the couch, but they've been used, so they're just kind of on, globbed up. <laughs> spider web thing. And then on the ceiling, this year we didn't hang up all the little glitter bats because I procrastinated. But we did hang up some big bats. And those are just hung up with command strips and they've stuck so far so we can i think there's five of them yeah this is the and then i got a ghost in the hallway got this little garland thingy on my marker board got a wreath and a sign i can't see the ghost garland uh, another sign there's a sign on jesse's door and a sign on Ronnie devon's door if i can find it there it is you can't see it good but that's okay and then in the bathroom, we have ooh, a spider web and a spider and a rat skeleton. And over here, trying to hide the mess, I think my sister made this thing I got today is in here. And I already showed it on its store. So that's all of the indoor Halloween decorations. I got some stuff outside, but you guys have seen that. I actually got to go out there in a little bit and fix some of it. Some of our pumpkins fell over. When it gets darker, when we go to plug the lights up, we'll fix the pumpkins. We, we do that at 7. At 7 o'clock, I turn the lights on outside, and at 11, I turn them off, because usually when I go to bed. One, two. Oh, there it is! Yeah, we're get, it's, it's 5 o'clock now. Oh, See? Yeah. It's like almost 5 o'clock. So in two hours, we'll turn the lights on outside. That's the big one right there. That takes too big. Five one. Yeah. So yeah. in about a month... In about a month, is what I'm trying to say, is um, when we'll be going to the pumpkin patch. Probably the third week of October is when we'll shoot for it. Yeah, hopefully, if Devin's off a day. Maybe a little bit before that, depending on when he's off. So, we will get three pumpkins there. And probably, Devin will probably carve his. He likes carving them. But me and Jesse usually just paint ours because it's easier and they last longer. And um, I want to get one this year. Last year, I didn't get a pumpkin. Jesse did and Devin did. But this year we're going to get three of them and come home and paint them up and put them on the porch. Or whatever that's called out there. It's not really a porch. <laughs> the concrete slab thing. And, um, yeah. So that's probably all the Halloween decoration. 
I'll be doing unless I get another good thrift shop haul like those things. I just love those new things that I got. My granny used to have stuff like that. The same like material and everything. It's just it was Christmas decorations instead of Halloween ones. Jess is playing with the car. It's five o'clock, so I probably should go to cook. I don't know if I'm gonna cook now or I'll cook later. But around six or seven I'm gonna try to go outside for a little while, like taking Jesse out every day. But I wait till it gets cooler, as cool as it's gonna get before dark, I guess. And tonight at the high school is homecoming, so it's gonna be there's gonna be a football game and all kinds of stuff going on down there tonight. Like a car game. The band's gonna be playing, it's gonna be loud. <laughs> So if I do sit out there with him, I won't be recording. Or if I do record anything, it'll be there'll be music over it because I you know copyright. But yeah. Want to say anything? Uh, I don't know. You don't want to say that your face is so dirty. I think I will say it. Something. Say something. I do like cookies. You like cookies? Yeah, I, I do too. They're yummy. Okay, how old are you? I'm twenty four. One. How old are you for real? Two one five. Why do you always do that when I'm filming? You know how old you are. How old are you? Leave your eyeballs alone. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? I don't know. <laughs> you do too know. You tell everybody at stores and stuff. I think I'm three years yes. old. Yes. What's your name? Um Desi. What's your whole name? Uh Daddy. No. What's your whole <laughs> name? What's the rest of your name? Um, Dusty Roberts. Yeah. What's your middle name? Um, I, Dusty. Jesse what? Dusty with cookies. <laughs> You're a stinker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time we're at someone else's house or something, or at a store and an old person walks up and talks to us. He just comes off of all the cutest little things. And, and says his I don't name know. And his age and all that fun stuff. But when I try to film it, it's just nothing. I'm not going to have any good home uh, videos to show you when you're a teenager. <laughs> I got to have something to embarrass you with when your friends come over. I think. Yeah, when you start dating and all that, I got to show them what you did when you was little. What? It's my right. I went through it, so I get to do it. What kind of you did? Mm -hmm. I love you. Kind? Why did you did? I love you. Love you? <laughs> I gotta make him an eye doctor appointment soon. I don't look forward to that. And a dentist appointment. I don't look forward to that either. Oh. I have a doctor appointment on the 10th. For lady stuff and watch out, you're gonna squish yourself. That car's heavy. And then on the twelfth, I have my craft fair. So that'll be part of August. I'll, I'll Oops, August, I Vlogtober. Um, I will share a lot of that if I can. I won't be able to use my phone a lot that day. I'm gonna have to steal my sister's phone. She's going with me because my phone I'll be I'll have to keep the battery you know good and charged. Um, because if I get any sales that are on a card, uh -huh. I'll be using my phone for that. I just wish everybody would bring cash. I don't know why people have to go to fairs and want to pay with a card. It makes it harder on the sellers and we have to lose a little bit of money. Uh, so here's a tip for you. If you're going to a craft fair or a flea market or a yard sale or something like that, go to your bank, <laughs> get some money out and take it with you. Don't take your card because it's a pain in the butt for us sellers to deal with. And we have to pay fees on every transaction and all that jazz so just take cash i would just wish i hope everybody that day brings cash because i don't want to have to rely on my phone i have an older generation phone anyway so it poops out all the time and i'm worried that it's not going to work and i'm going to lose sales because of it all because people don't want to bring cash Ugh. the stadium's about are starting to fill up <laughs> i get loud in a little bit i got dinner cooking you're not gonna be able to see it very well the chickens in there and me and Devin don't really eat a lot of chicken when I always get the big pack of breasts and then I take each breast and cut it in half and then that's what I cook. So like that's one chicken breast but it's cut in half. So I'll eat one and I'll save one for Devin. I just put the spaghetti in it's the water finally started boiling. So that chicken, the bonus of cutting chicken breast in half is it cooks way faster than if you leave it whole. So 
that smells really good already. I love Parmesan crusted chicken. So delicious. But I'm sitting here. I keep poking out the window because I'm trying to see what they're all doing. It's just it's interesting to be able to be this close. And after I get done cooking, we'll probably go out on the porch and let him play in the dirt. <laughs> and um, I'll sit there and crochet or something. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. I need to crochet. <laughs> I've been putting off crocheting lately uh, just because I kind of lost my crojo, but eh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm excited about tomorrow, the um, family day thing at his work. Devin may not have to work all day tomorrow, so that's good. I kind of hope they let him off. It'll be less overtime, but it'll be more time with us, so I um, kind of hope they let him off. And then Sunday is when I'm going to the movies. Um, Devin actually likes Downton Abbey. He binged watched all of it with me when I was pregnant with Jesse. Um, I can't remember if all of it was out then. I can't remember if the last season was out at that time. I think it came out after I had Jesse. But anyways, we binge watched it all when I was pregnant and then we've watched it since. We have it all on DVD. I watch it all the time. <laughs> it's one of those, it's kind of like Little House on Prairie. It's something I could put in and have it playing all day long while I'm running around the house doing stuff and I'll just randomly sit down and watch a few minutes and then I'll go do something. I just love that show. But, um, and he would probably go to the movies and watch it with me and enjoy it. But I actually wanted to go by myself. I just wanted like a mom <laughs> day. I plan on getting me a drink and some nachos and sitting on the top row in the middle if no one's there and just relaxing and taking two hours and one minute <laughs> to myself and eating some nachos and some drink and then catch up with them afterwards. I told him he should go and get them something to eat like some McDonald's or something and go to the park because Jesse would love that. And the city that we're going to because we don't have a theater here. We have a drive-in but it's closed for the season. But um Let's see here, what was I saying? Where well, there's a few parks, so he could grab some food for them to go eat and have like a picnic and then just let Jesse play for two hours. Jesse would love that and he would also um, be tired out for the day, hopefully. But I don't, I'm not sure what they're gonna do. I told him he could do that or like go window shopping with them or something. I'm sure they'll figure out something and uh, they just have to come back and pick me up <laughs> and uh, then we'll go home and do family stuff the rest of the day. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I'm sitting here watching YouTube videos. Um, I was waiting for my water to boil and then so I just went to put the pasta in there and now I'm going to sit here and watch some more videos and wait for dinner to cook and eat and then take Jesse outside if he still wants to go. He just ate a sandwich. He wanted a sandwich earlier so he should be good for now uh, until a little later on and then he can have a snack or something if he wants it. But yeah, I don't know if I'll film any more tonight. I might. I don't know. We'll see. Jesse just got home from Devin's work picnic thing. I had to stop and get fill the car up with gas and then we went to Walmart just to look around really. I ended up buying Jesse a toy which he's playing with now. And then I also bought for me a um, 
timer for our Halloween lights and then Christmas lights when that comes. I gotta open it up and figure out how to set it right. But we had a lot of fun at the picnic. It was hot. That's why I changed. <laughs> I came straight home and like stripped off everything and put on clean everything. Because I sweat a lot. <laughs> but um, we had uh, hot dogs and chips and cookies and stuff like that. Jesse played with the bouncy things. And uh, we got to watch all the people dance and stuff. It was a lot of fun. And then when they did the drawings, every, every one of the employees gets a ticket. And then they randomly draw at the end of it a whole bunch of them to give out prizes. We got a portable DVD player, which is a little outdated, you know. But, um, because most people, you know, like, watch stuff, MP3s. But this will be handy for Jesse, I think. Um, like, doctor appointments and stuff, I can, because it comes with headphones. I can put him a kid's movie in there and he can sit there, in theory. <laughs> and be good and listen to it while waiting. Uh, I don't know. We'll try it out. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it's still cool. Last year we didn't win anything and there are crappy gifts, you know, in a sense, like there was a hammock that we couldn't use. There was a camping, uh, stove we couldn't use. And then they were like giving away the flowers that they decorated with like mums, which I would have been okay with, but we got that. So that's cool. <sighs> I gotta go back tonight and pick up Devin cause he did have to stay at work. We were hoping he was going to be able to get off, but, uh, they needed him for something. I think I got a little sunburnt because I forgot to put on sunblock, which I'm really bad at. And I've got to try to remember to get good at it. We have it in the car and it's just, I forgot. A lot of times when we go to parks and stuff, I remember and we put it on all of us. But today, I just forgot. So, I'll probably pay for that. I think my forehead, <laughs> my face is red right now because I'm hot. And the back, my back, I was wearing a shirt that had like, it was low in the back. And I think the bottom of that loop <laughs> got burnt. Anyways... I gotta figure out what to make for dinner. I think it's just gonna be like a pizza night. Because I think I got one frozen pizza left in the freezer. And I don't really feel like cooking. It's already almost five. So I got some mail today. I'm not gonna show the address. It's from Linda. So Linda, I got your package. <laughs> if you're watching this, Linda, and I'll say it in my next song kitchen name, episode two, in case you don't watch the vlogs, shoot me an email with your email address because um well, in the note, you know, you were talking about bags, and I need to know, like, what kind of bag you would want. Because, uh, oops, I just hit the camera. You didn't say. But I'm super appreciative of that, and I will open it up here in a minute. i got to open the curtains, because my craft area is dark. Because we just got home, the house is closed. But anyways, i got to open the curtains. Okay, my craft table is dirty as per usual. I still got all these bags laid out that I was cutting yesterday. And uh, I already opened this, because I can't wait to open this thing. It's really sticky still. It's got good tape on it. The, uh, double sized stuff but she sent me some fabric and some zippers and she's just like ah. okay, I'm throwing stuff over didn't the cart out <laughs> see those bruises I have no idea where I got those the other day I noticed them when they were still yellow and I was like what the heck probably from playing with Jesse because he gets rough sometimes ah, okay so she sent me a card, which is really cute, which will be going on my wall of cards when I update it. But it says you can never have uh, too much yarn. That is so cute. Did you make that, I wonder? But she wrote me a note. She sent me some material because she doesn't have a use for it, and she uh, figured I did. So I do. I always can use material or anything, really. <laughs> but she sent two zippers. They're both 14 inches. Um, I can't really tell the colors. They're like a cream color and like a brown color. Awesome, I can use those for bags. And then she sent, I'm not sure about the sizes because this one feels like it might be two yards, but some of it's been cut out, so I'm not really sure. We'll just have to, when I get ready to cut it, I will, you know, lay it out, measure and all that stuff. But it's turkeys. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> They're so cute. I think I bought some of that last year. I don't remember if it's the same one or not. And this one is black with orange polka dots, which would be a great liner for a Halloween bag, but also for like any bag that's got orange on it. And then the candy corns. <laughs> I got some of this from, I think Beth from Heaven's Peacemaker. Uh, she sent me some of the same kind that I made bags with. So there's some more of that. And then this is my favorite. I'm probably going to be selfish and keep this one. I'm going to make myself a project bag out of this. It's witches. But if you look at their faces, they're kind of they kind of look like scarecrow ridges, and they got a broom and a cat, and it looks a lot like that thing I just bought uh, to decorate my house with at the thrift store that I showed in yesterday's clip. It's the same video you've seen it earlier in this video. <laughs> but uh, this is like a yard, but it's been cut some of some out of, 
but there's still enough there that I can make at least one project bag. And uh, if I can, I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> I love this print, it's really pretty. But yeah, so thank you so much, Linda, for that. I appreciate it, and I can't wait to get it going. I might try to cut some of this up this week because there are some Halloween prints in these bags that will be going up the next update just because it's the Halloween fabric that I got at the thrift store. Um, so I need to go ahead and get it out, you know, because it's already is it the middle of September, towards the end of September. I don't know. It's the 21st. <laughs> it's getting close to Halloween. Hey. Why is that white shirt for? Because Mama had to change her shirt. She was all sweaty and gross. I'm sure I want to go outside. We'll go outside a little bit, baby. It's too hot right now. And maybe like another hour when it starts cooling off a little bit. No, I'm not letting you go outside all by yourself when it's hot. Because you'll get overheated, you never drink enough water, and then you'll get sick. Sick. Anyways, that was the mail I got today. I wasn't even expecting that. Like, I didn't know it was coming. Normally, I check my P.O. box um, informed delivery on the, like, my phone or the computer. Hold on a second, okay? Two seconds. Right there. It's part of the tripod. I didn't check it the last few days, so I didn't even know this was coming. And she shipped it. Um, don't hit that. What's this called? Ah! She shipped it priority, so it was two-day shipping. So I, apparently the last two days I didn't check it because I didn't even know I was getting a package. So it was a happy bonus. I went to the P.O. Box this morning to drop off two orders that I got yesterday, I think. And um, I just haven't checked the, the mailbox too while I was there. And there was a slip in it saying I had a package. So I was like, Woo. I thought it was one of Jesse's books from the Dolly Parton thing. But it was an actual package, so that was cool. I always love getting anything unexpected. It's fun. And this box is still... Like, I could take the shipping labels off of it and reuse this box. Because it's not horribly damaged, like most of the time they are when you get them in the mail. 